Have the patient's medical chart and radiographs ready. Review the patient's medical and dental history. Before you meet the patient, wash your hands. Greet the patient and escort him or her to the operatory. Properly seat the patient in the dental chair. Confirm patient medical and dental history and explain the procedure addressing any patient questions or concerns. Obtain informed consent. Drape the patient by placing a napkin or bib and fasten it with a clip. Inform the dentist that the patient is ready for the procedure. While you wait for the dentist, wash your hands and put on your PPE. Always open sterile packs in front of the patient when possible. Make the final adjustments to the dental chair. There should be approximately 12 to 14 inches between the patient's face and dentist's face. Provide the patient with protective eyewear. The first step in a composite restoration is to choose the composite resin color shade. Pick up the shade guide and hand it to the dentist for selection of the shade that matches closest to the patient's natural teeth. Next, select the appropriate composite resin syringe or composite resin carpule of the desired shade and load the composite into the composite gun. Replace the gun on the tray. Gently retract the patient's cheek and or tongue away from the treatment area while suctioning to provide a clear line of vision and ample space for the dentist to work as the tooth is prepared. After the dentist has finished preparing the tooth and cleared all decay, rinse the tooth well and air dry. Maintain a dry field by placing cotton rolls, gauze, or dry angles at the site to prevent the buildup of any moisture. If a matrix is required to isolate the tooth for treatment, hand the dentist the requested matrix system. Continue to suction and air dry as needed throughout the procedure. Next, pass the acid etch to the dentist with the tip positioned so that it will allow for easy application to the tooth. Place the acid etch syringe back on the tray. Follow the manufacturer's guidelines and wait the recommended time for the acid etch to remain on the tooth and then rinse the tooth thoroughly with the air water syringe. Completely dry the field with air. Thank you.